everyone. We are in that third week of February. You had a day off from school yesterday for a special holiday called President's Day. It's a day that we celebrate our presidents. So yesterday was the first day of the week that you normally have school on Monday, but it was a holiday so you didn't have school. So today is the first day of the week that you have school. So we gotta figure out what that is. So let's take a look here. Sunday, Monday, you know what comes next. Tuesday, today's Tuesday. And what number do you think comes after 15? Now remember I talked to you about, look, zero, one, two, three, four, five, I would expect to see a one and a six here. What number is a one and a six? 16, yes, 16. So let's see if we can say the date. Today is Tuesday, February 16, 2020, 2021. Sometimes we slip up when we say the year before because we're so used to saying it for 365 days. Did you know there's 365 days in a whole year? So after you've said it 365 times, then it sticks in your brain. Well, it's 2021 now. And we have only been through a month and a half of 2021 so far. Do you remember how many days I said there are in February? If we turn this last card over, do you remember what it is? It's 28. There are only 28 days in this month. It's the only month that doesn't have at least 30 days. The only one. The rest either have 30 or 31. Okay. So we're working on the number 12 this week with our subtraction problems. So I drew my circles over here like a 10 frame and then I added two more because 10 and two more is, makes 12. So let's do some equations, some number sentences with them and see if we can find a, you know, maybe some, a, little, a little bit about a fact family in there too while we're at it. So I have 12 up here. I know that because I already put them in two rows of five and two rows of five is just like two sets of fingers. It's 10, and then I added two more, 11, 12, okay? So the first one I'm gonna do is gonna be 12, and I'm gonna take away, let me see, I'll take four away. 12 minus four. Now, like I said, if you wanna write your equation, if you wanna write the number sentence, that's fine, you don't have to do the drawing right now. I'm going to do 12 minus 4. I'm going to start outside of my 10 frame here and do my crossing off. I'm going to take 4 away. I'm going to cross 4 off. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to see what's left. And I can count that first row. I can count this row really fast because I know there's 5 in it already. So I can just say 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 left. Now for the next one, let's do 12 minus 8 and see if we come up with 4. I think we will. You see these three numbers, 12, 4, and 8? So if you have 12 you take 4 away, there's 8 left. But if you have 12 and you take 8 away, I bet there's going to be 4 left. What do you bet? Do you believe me? I'll prove it. All right. So I need to cut across out eight of these. So I'm going to start over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I crossed one off in that top row that had five in it. And if there's one less than five, we know it's one, two, three, four. Oh, I was right. 12 minus four equals eight, and 12 minus eight equals four. Go figure, because watch, 4 plus 8 is 12, and 8 plus 4 is 12, and those three numbers, you can make four number sentences out of them and make it, and call it a fact family. 
Yep. All right. This time, let's see, let's do 12 and let's take away mm, 6. Okay. Let's do 12 minus 6. I'm going to cross 6 off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I can count this real fast because I've got one whole row of five left and one more. So five and one more. Five, six. Now that's a double if you were adding because six plus six, that's a double, is twelve. All right. For the next one, let's do twelve minus two. Let's do 12, take 2 away. Hmm. Well, I'm only going to take away these two that are outside of my 10 frame. So I don't even need to count what's left to get the answer because I know that there are 5 in this row and 5 in this row, and that equals 10. Yes, it does. Trust me. All righty. Now we have new, three new sight words this week. He, she, and look. All right. So now here we go. Watch this. He, you only need two letters to spell it. You need H and E. Now watch what happens. The next one is she. It sounds a lot like he, doesn't it? It has that sh sound at the beginning. And what, what makes that sh sound? What two letters together? S and H. Now watch this. He, here's she, S-H-E. Hmm. Easy. He is H-E, she is S-H-E. And then look, this is one of my favorite sight words. And just because I just remember when my son was little and he would write this word, he would write look, it's L-O-O-K. <laughs> this is what he would do. Watch this. He would make eyeballs in the O's and put eyelashes up here <laughs> to help him remember that that word is look because <laughs> that's what you do with your eyes, right? You look. <laughs> so he would write L-O-O-K and then make eyeballs out of those two O's. And then he could spell it. Pretty cool. All right. I'm going to write a sentence today, and I hope you'll write it with me. And I'm going to use a couple of those sight words. So my first sentence is, she can look at my toys. Okay. Maybe you have a friend over, and your brother is saying, don't let her play with that stuff. And you say, well, she can look at my toys. Okay. So she is the first word, and we just said that sh sound is two letters, S and H. Capital S, beginning of a sentence, she. We know how to spell can. We've written it lots and lots of times, C-A-N. And then here's that fun sight word, look. L-O-O-K. And I'll put a couple eyeballs in there and the eyelashes on it just for fun. You wouldn't normally do that when you're writing something for school, but it's just fun. She can look at, how do you spell at? A-T. And then that tricky sight word, my, that sounds like M-I, but it isn't. It's M-Y. She can look at my toys. What does toy start with? T. T. Mm -hmm. T. T it's T-O-Y. And I'm going to add an S because she's not just going to look at one toy. She's going to look at all my toys meaning more than one. So I add S to toy and make it toys, and that means that she's going to look at more than one toy. She can look at my toys. And I'm just going to put a period because that didn't sound like a question or too, anything too exciting. All right.
And then how about, let's try to put, make another sentence with he. Okay. How about, he can look too. Maybe the little girl has a brother that's with her, and maybe he can look at her toys too. He can look too. Four words. Now we're gonna we're gonna write he, but we're gonna use a capital H because I'm starting a new sentence. Capital H E. <clears throat> he. Here's can. We already know how to spell can. C A N. <laughs> I'm gonna write my fun sight word look again. L O O K. L O O K. He can look, and then we haven't talked about this mark, but I'm going to put a comma here because that's what you do whenever you write um, the word T O O. And we haven't looked at that word yet either, but it means also. So she can look at the toys, and he can look also. I could say also, but sometimes we say he can look too. And that's spelled like this, T-O-O. -O. It takes two O's to say that also kind of two. He can look comma, we put a comma there, this mark is a comma, two. It means he can look also. And I think that just takes a period as well. All right, let's read it. She can look at my toys. He can look too. All right, practice those fun sight words this week.